Good evening, jury. This is Peyton Reynolds. I would now like to ask you some questions related to Pat and the case. Is that okay? Yes. Why did you want Pat to attend the leadership conference? It was a great opportunity for him and a great, and a great way to get scholarship money given my divorce, and he helped with tui tuition as a bonus. And how would you describe Pat's academic life? He has mostly B's, but his grades slipped a little after the separation. Although, when I took his car keys, they went right back up. I try to support Pat mentally and physically as best as I can. That's why this conference was his birthday present. It was his last weekend being 17. How would you describe Pat's social life? Well, he's a great kid with many friends. He's so adaptable, making friends with everyone, even tutoring and explorers. He went on a trip last on this trip last year with a couple of his friends, although I think they did not attend this year. It really showed his dedication that he still wanted to go. Were you concerned at all about the safety of your child on this trip? No, not at first. The chaperone on the trip was supposed to be Donna Hughes. Pat had her last year and spoke very highly of Donna. I trusted and respected her. And how did you find out about the chaperone switch? The day before the trip, Pat called me and said that Donna Hughes had gotten sick and that there was a risk of the trip being canceled. I knew Pat was disappointed before he was really looking forward to it. I decided to call the school and ended up talking to the superintendent. What did you discuss with the superintendent? Jameson Manning said that the school's policy is one chaperone for 15 kids. I know there were, I knew there were 20 kids going and no chaperone was available with homecoming being soon. I remembered reading that the conference had one chaperone for every 20 kids and told Ms. Manning. Why did you suggest that to Mrs. Manning? Because it was Pat's last time to go to experience a high school conference, and as I said before, the scholarship money would really help. Did the school follow up with you after the call? Ms. Manning said she would update me later, but I never got a call back. I assumed everything was in order. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Okay.